And that's it. Max Frost for 320 damage. GG's, bud. You're out of here. Kiram V Max, too strong. Yo, what's up, everybody? I am finally home from my months long project and ready to hit the ground running with some new Lost Origin decks. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing off Kurum VMAX, which can one hit KO anything in the Pokemon TCG with its insanely powerful Max Frost attack, which does 120 damage plus 50 more damage for each water energy you discard from Kurum. With Origin Form Palkia V-Star at its side, you can use Star Portal to accelerate extra water energy onto your Kiram and take huge knockouts back to back turns. This deck is a powerhouse in standard right now and I can't wait to show it off. But before we get to it, let's head over to FullGripGames.com. FullGripGames.com is the number one place to buy Pokemon trading card game singles and sealed product. We've got super fast shipping and top-notch grading. You really won't find better service anywhere than at FullGripGames.com. We're also going to be vending a ton of regional championships this year. So make sure to check out the FullGrip Games Discord as well as FullGrip Games TCG on Twitter to stay up to date on which regionals we're going to be attending so you can pick up your orders at the event. Thank you so much for shopping at FullGripGames.com. Now, let's check out that Kiram VMAX deck. This is the deck list that Tornadoes fan used to finish second place out of over 600 players during this month's Limitless Showdown tournament. So big props to Tornadoes fan for a job well done. Kiram VMAX is the centerpiece of this deck. It's got 330 hit points and can one hit KO anything with enough energy using its max frost attack, which does 120 damage plus 50 more damage for each water energy you discard from Kiram VMAX. So if you discard three water energy, you're gonna be doing 270 damage. With a choice belt, that's enough damage to knock out any Pokemon V-Star. With four water energy discarded, you're gonna be able to knock out any opposing Pokemon VMAX. Now, in order to accelerate energy onto Kiram VMAX, we've got Origin Form Palkia V-Star with its Star Portal ability, which allows you to accelerate up to three water energy from your discard pile to your water type Pokemon in play. This goes great with Kiram VMAX. If you're gonna be discarding water energy with Max Frost, then you can put them back onto your Kiram with your Origin Form Palkia V-Star. But Kiram VMAX also has the Glaciated World ability, which allows you to discard the top card of your deck. If that card is a water energy card, you get to attach it to one of your Pokemon. So if you have two Kiram VMAX in play, you can Glaciated World twice to accelerate two extra water energy into play, maybe play a Melanie for turn to get an extra water energy into play, and all of a sudden, you're using Max Frost for huge damage back to back turns. Now, in order to ensure that you have a water energy on top of your deck to accelerate into play with Glaciated World, we've got Primate Wisdom Orangaroo, which allows you to put a card from your hand on top of your deck and then take the card that was on the top of your deck. And we have got Rotom Phone, which allows you to look at the top five cards of your deck, choose one of them to put on top of your deck and shuffle the other cards. So there is a lot of synergy in this deck to help you power up Karen VMAX and launch huge attacks in succession. Now, in order to deal with those Lost Zone decks, we've got Empoleon V with its Emperor's Eyes ability. Two copies of Empoleon V is very difficult for these Comfy Reliant decks to play around since you can have one in the active spot and one on the bench. If your opponent uses Escape Rope, you can just put the benched Empoleon V into the active spot. It pretty much stops Comfy and Cramorant in their tracks. This deck is super, super good. I think I only dropped a couple of games while playing it on stream today, had a huge win streak. It really is a mainstay in our standard format. Check it out in action and let me know what you think of this Kirim VMAX deck in the comments below. Kirim V Kirim. This should be kind of interesting, right? How do you win the mirror match when your opponent goes first? Seems tough. And they open Battle VIP Pass, which is exactly what they want to start. And so long as they have a stable board, they can get a turn to attack with their Kiram V Max to knock out my Kiram V. So 
I want to build up a Kirin VMAX to be able to deal with their Kirin VMAX. I guess that's the best thing I can do. Just establish better Kirims. We can Irida. The double Irida start is quite strong, but we did prize our Radiant Greninja, but I can go get it with the Hisuian Heavy Ball. So we'll probably do that. Um, that does mean that I cannot battle VIP pass, but it's probably worth it. So we'll do that. Because the Radiant Greninja is kind of important. So we're going to get that fella. And then we will Capacious Buckets to thin the deck a little bit, since I don't think they're going to disrupt my hand at all. And then Concealed Cards. Thank you, Ace Trainer Jake, for that sub. Appreciate you. And we'll attach... Oh, I could... Huh. I could Rapid Freeze. That's kind of crazy. Do we just Rapid Freeze? Or attach just here... And then I'll have an energy in my hand to concealed cards. Um, yeah, Rapid Freeze seems insane. Rapid Freeze. Okay, so we'll do that. And then they knock out this guy. I got my work cut out for me. They get a turn two Kirin V Max, knock out my Kirin V. Then I need four energy plus the belts, which is fine. I can Melanie one, attach one, or I could Irida. So we certainly got our options. They have a Drapion in their list, trying to tech for the Mu V Max matchup, and Luminion which they can play to go get Irida, which will allow them to take the knockouts, assuming that that's what they want to do. Yep. There is Irida. And they'll play it. They can get Kiram VMAX and one more item. They probably want to set up a second Kiram VMAX, though, because without Kiram VMAX online... They're going to be in a bad spot. So they're trying to figure out what to get with their item card because presumably the water Pokemon is going to be Kirin VMAX. They don't have a Ranguru out yet either. Neither do I, but it's cool. I've got a solid looking hand. I think next turn is going to be a Melanie. I don't like to just spin the wheel like that. Um, Irida, obviously, is better if you can guarantee it. I suppose I can guarantee the knockout if I get Irida for Palkia V-Star and Kirin V-Star. That's, like, not terrible. And then I just use my V-Star power on the Kirin. But it seems like a, a waste. And they have to use their V-Star power for just two. So this is like, this is the exchange right here. We're going to see if they have another Kirin V. If they don't have another Kirin V, I'm feeling really good about this. And they just go for the random discard off Glaciated World. They miss discarding another Kirin V max. And I think that this is going to be like, this is like the crux of the game right here is whether or not I can respond. This whole game boils down to whether or not I can knock out their Kirim VMAX with my Kirim. Top decking the Palkia is huge. So huge because now I get to guarantee it the fun way. So we go Irida and we get the Kirim VMAX in the bucket. We go Kirim VMAX and Capacious Bucket for the water energies. 
and we can sealed cards, discarding the water energy to get three water energy in the discard pile now. We can attach to the Kiram VMAX and Choice Belt and Star Portal, all three of those water energy onto Kiram VMAX. And then we go skadoosh, baby. You want to glaciate it? You want to do a random glaciated world? Well, let's let it rip, dude. I don't think that there's too much that I need here. Yeah. Let it rip, baby. Oh, well. <laughs> Max Frost. Two, three, four. And we take the knockouts. Three hundred and fifty damage. Your Kieran V Max is out of there, bud. Later, skater. And I got a fat three prizes. And now all this Kieran needs is one attachment from hand, and it can knock out Origin Form Palkia V Star next turn. And you can see how quickly things get out of hand with this deck, right? Like they can't possibly knock out my Kieran V Max now. And since I have Karen VMAX in play and they don't, I'm going to be able to take a big one-hit KO. I'm going to be able to Glaciated World again. There's a lot of really good stuff I can cook up next turn. They discarded their other Karen VMAX off of Glaciated World. So they might not even be able to get another Karen VMAX out for the rest of the game. And it is party time. I don't think I have anybody else in here, no. Cool. Let's Melanie. So we've got the three energy we need now. We've got a quick ball, which we can use to get our other Kiram V into play if I would like to. Yeah, let's do that. Just so I have it. And then I can... Training courts, a water back, and I can Rotom Phone, see if I stack a water. Ah, that does not count, actually. The wash energy. Does not count as stacking an energy. Right, because it has to be... Discard sack if it's a water energy card, right? So it cannot be that. So I can conceal cards, draw into the water energy. That's fine. We're going to discard all the energy on this Karen V Max. We've got a Melanie in our hand. I think I'm okay just to attach this energy to Kiram. Keep that energy on top of my deck. And max frost for the knockout seems fine discard all those and then we take our two prize cards i did find the Kiram v max i had a pretty high chance of being able to find this so next turn i can melanie onto my Kiram. i can attach from hand and I can potentially Glaciated World in order to get enough energy to knock out an Origin Form Palkia V-Star. They're going to use Irida, so they're not going to disrupt my hand. And this deck loves it when your opponent does not disrupt your hand. I mean, this is like... This is perfection, right? So hand disruption is very good in this format right now because these Kiram VMAX decks don't like to have their hand disrupted. And I think Arceus takes a big hit since Arceus decks are at a natural disadvantage against Kiram VMAX decks. Thank you, Lambo Genie, for that tier one sub in the 18 months. I think Kiram VMAX is like... It's definitely a big bad in the format and something that is going to 
It's like the new one hit KO deck. It just one hit KOs everything. I'm excited to do 280 damage again. Let me do it. Let me add him. I got this thing. I don't have any Oranguru in play yet. That's like the unfortunate thing about my hand. And my board state. All right. So they subspace swell. They take the knockouts. I've got my Kyurem. Let's do this thing. The wash energy off the top. We knew we were getting that. So all I have to do... Let's see. If I Irida... I can get... No, we want to Melanie. Irida, I can get... Nope, can't do it with Irida. All right, after Melanie. And we find Rotom Phone. Holy moly. All right. That's fine. I can conceal card into something if I want to. But we find the water energy. So then I just Glaciated World. And that's it. Max Frost for 320 damage. GG's, bud. You're out of here. Kirim VMAX, too strong. Let's go. Broken deck. This double Empoleon strategy reminds me of like back in the day when people had to play double Keldeo in order to... Keldeo EX from Boundaries Crossed in order to not stay asleep from lasers. My opponent opens Comfy, and I am just going to keep my Empoleon there. <laughs> so, yeah, literally just Empoleon, pass. I'm going to put down no other cards. So they can't use Flower Selecting. And that is going to very much hinder what they're trying to do here. It's not really worth it to Crobat for like one or two cards because then they could use Escape Rope to push the Crobat into the active so that they could use Flower Selecting. But right now, we just want to keep it nice and steady. Empoleon V. Yeah. No Flower Selecting for you. I've got Pokestop. So I can actually use Pokestop. You know I love using my opponent's Pokestop. I've realized that one of the reasons I like this deck so much is because you get to live chaotically every time you use Glaciated World without like a... I don't even think I benched this Palkia for real. They're not doing anything. That was sick. <laughs> Yeah, that was gnarly for sure. Um, I think I want to lost vacuum and get rid of the yeah, stadium. And then we're just uh hanging out here about to do the swirly slice. And the cool thing about swirly slice with no bench pokemon is that I don't have to move an energy to my bench Pokemon because I have none. So here we stand. Swirly Slice. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Thank you. I'm J-Ho and Chanel for the subs. J-Ho with the 24 months, two years. Thank you, Chanel. Appreciate you guys. They have just one card in the Lost Zone, because I put it there. Comfy can't do anything. Cramorant can't do anything. They're playing Articunos, but it looks like they can't do anything, so we're just going to keep giving my opponent a swirly. And if they don't find anything... Right now, then this game is mine for the taken. Yeah, GG's.
and no re. That's Empoleon, baby. That's it right there. That's the deck. And we're going first a lot. This is definitely a deck that feels like if I go first, you're having a bad time. We're going first. We've got an absolutely cracked opening hand. Look at it. Just look at this thing. It's great. I think instead of Radiant Greninja, we might actually want to get a Ranguru. Because I've got the Rotom Phone in my hand. So. That's fine. Yeah, let's Rotom Phone now. And we've got Irida. It's a really good card for next turn. So let's just stack the Irida. And we're going to keep it there for next turn. And pass. So next turn, we top deck into Irida. And I can go get Karen VMAX and Capacious Bucket. We use the Capacious Bucket to go get two Water Energy. We attach one to Kiram, we Primate Wisdom the other, and we go for the turn to Kiram VMAX shenanigans. Which will do 270 damage turn two. Which is insane. Right? Like, we're just going to be smacking this Espeon. Yeah, like, what the heck, dude? Kiram Bucket. And we out here smacking fools left and right. Palkia here. Kiram here. Primate Wisdom. The Water Energy. Insano. Glaciated World. Absolutely nutzo. Go there. Ultra Ball. Go get Crobat. Six new cards, baby. Draw. Quick ball away this Empoleon. We do not need this guy where we're going. Get this guy. Boom. Concealed cards. Cool. And then... Give him the old Max Frost. We'll discard two. We're doing 220 damage. You're done. And we are poised to have a real good time this next turn. Finding the Lost Vacuum is very good. Thank you, Morris and Connor. Oh, thank you, guys. Oh, thank you, guys, for those subs. I appreciate it. Connor with the 27 months. Morris, 26 months. Thank you, guys. Hopefully, you're having a good one. But, yeah. Kiram just, like... Like, what can you do? There's no... You're done. Thank you, Sarmacus, for the Tier 1 sub. Quick Ball. They've even got Metal Pokemon in the deck. It do not matter because I'm going to go knockout, knockout game. Well, hopefully. But I, I think we got it. Knockout, knockout game. Easy mode. They've got the Radiant Gardevoir, minus 20 damage from Pokemon V. That's fine. Flying Pikachu VMAX doesn't do anything to cure him VMAX. It's weak to metal, so you just, like, absolutely blast him. And I got Star Portal, like, on board right now. You just Star Portal to cure him, blast it. It's nuts. And with 330 hit points, 330 HP, and a weakness to metal, yeah, it's it's nuts, man. So here we go. We've got an Irida off the top, which is very good for us. Capacious Buckets. 
Uh, yeah, that's right. And we Irida. And we go get Kirin VMAX. And we just really want something in case they have a path. All smack games, fine. Primate Wisdom, that. Melanie, nice. Glaciated World. Go there. Attach here. Choice Belt. We'll make it so I'm doing 300 minus 20. Perfect math. And then there's no water energy left in my deck to use Glaciated World on, so there's no points. We just save the Palkia's V-Star power with the vacuum in our hand for next turn. Since I don't think that there's any way that they can knock it out, we just let it rip. And then next turn, we go Star Portal, Kirin VMAX game. Which is why we got the Lost Vacuum, because we're kind of anticipating that the only way that my opponent is going to be able to deal with my board right now is if they path me. Now, obviously, if they Marnie path me, there's like not too much I could do about that. But then if I just find an Arita, I can Lost Vacuum and Star Portal still. So like we basically have Checkmate because all of my Aritas are out to the Lost Vacuum to get rid of Path. They could rock sand me to two. It's probably their best bet. Yep. So here we go. Rock sand to two. I still got my V-Star power. And I find two very good cards. Off of that rock sand. They have to path. Or they lose. They absolutely have to. If they do not path, it is GG's. They've got Ultra Ball for Arceus V-Star. Who can take the knockouts, but I've only got two prizes left. And it's literally GG's. Just because they didn't have the path. And even with a Corviknight VMAX in their deck, it just doesn't matter. Because... Our deck is too strong, bro. Too strong. How many energy I got in the discard pile? Five. That'll do. Star portal. We get three. All on to Senor Curum. And then we've got the energy retrieval. Primate Wiz. I guess I could have just melodied, huh? But you you get the idea. You're out of here, Arceus. Later, bud. That about wraps it up for Kirim VMAX. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Tricky Gym, where I stream live Pokemon trading card game content just like the stuff you watched here every weekday. Now, y'all take it easy. See ya. Thank <laughs> you.